Good day and welcome to another exciting and thrilling episode on Insights, reaching life from the studios of mass communication. Well, in today's show, we'll be treating and discussing a very important issue in our society today, which is on teenage pregnancy and abortion. It is no news that the rate of teenage pregnancy and abortion is alarming, striking, and hair raising. This has eaten deep into the society like the canker worm it is, terminating the dreams, goals, and aspirations of the teenager involved. I am your host for today. To be passing, please stay with us. In today's show, I have esteemed and experienced guests who are going to educate and enlighten us on the effects, consequences, and profound solutions to the fast rising case of teenage pregnancy and abortion. In today's show, with me, I have Ms. Bryce Samuel. She's a medical researcher and advocate for women's health. Thank you for being here with us, ma'am. In the studio, with me as well, I have Ms. Wana Eto. She's a counselor in maternity cases and expert in sexual therapy. And she's also the founder of Rich Life Pharmaceutical Nigeria Limited. It's an honor to have you, ma'am. And also in the studio with me, I have Ms. Dorothy Thomas. She's the Minister of Women Affairs and Development. We are pleased to have you, ma'am. And lastly, we, I have Ms. Emi Makwa. She's a sought after gynecologist in Africa and the founder of War, that is War Against Rape Movement. We are pleased to have you, ma'am. Ms. Bryce Samuel, I would like you to throw more light on what um, teenage pregnancy and abortion is all about. What does it um, entail? Okay, thank you for that. Teenage pregnancy is described as pregnancy in girls aged 13 to 19, and this is one of the major challenges facing most parts of Africa. This teenage pregnancy is when an underage or teenager gets pregnant and this teenage pregnancy can also be called unwanted pregnancy, but only limited to the singles that are not ready to settle down yet. And this pregnancy can lead to abortion, which you asked of. Abortion is the intentional termination of the pregnancy by the lady. It is, it is an, a deliberate act by the lady because, you know, abortion is different from miscarriage. Miscarriage happens on its own. But abortion is an intentional act by the lady who is pregnant. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, Ms. Bryce Samuel. Um, Ms. Br Ms. Wana, I'm going to be directing the question at you. We all know that nothing happens out of the blues. We know that there is a reason for everything. I want you to enlighten the factors that can lead to teenage pregnancy. What causes teenage pregnancy? Okay, thank you very much for that question. Um, factors of um, teenage pregnancy really varies, but I'm going to mention a few. And then I'll be starting with um, lack of parental guidance. When parents these days don't have time for their children, they, they tend to give them that opportunity to misbehave. Because um, we really noticed that 70% of parents these days, they don't have time. Like they don't have that casual relationship with their children, both um, the mother and the father. Like they don't have that casual relationship because um, these days they really think, okay, it's supposed to be only the mother that should be close to the uh, to the girl child and all of that. But no, in some situations, the child, the father can also be close to the children. So lack of parental guidance is one of the um, fascinators. Let me put it like that of um, teenage pregnancy because. Parents don't, they don't guide their children. They are not there to teach their children about their sexual health and um, reproductive rights. They are not there to teach them, to guide them. And then when, in situations like that, when parents are not there to guide children the positive way, they will surely consult their peers, who, which um, might guide them the negative way. And peer group pressure these days is also one of the causes of teenage pregnancy. Because when they go to meet their peers, they want to do what their peers are saying. They want to do like do what their peers are doing. They don't they don't care about like they don't care about the consequences. As like at times they are they they, they are ignorant of the consequences of whatever they are doing. Peers will push you to do what you don't want to do. But parents will advise you, if you like, you take the advice. But peers will push you into doing what you don't want to do. So when they meet their peer, the pressure from peer, uh, from peer group now will make them do what they are, not, they're, like, they're not supposed to do. Either out of tension or like, let me, okay, let me just do it to feel among. And then another cause is um, media influence. 
um, what uh, children view these days on social media really affects their character. Like we have um, the social media, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and the rest. And then we have um, the conventional media, like we have the TV, radio. What's the the content of this? Um, the content of this social of these media platforms are not really, might not really be what teenagers are supposed to see, but because there is no guidance there, like I talk about parental guidance, there is no guidance there. They they they, they go astray. There are some movies that we, um, we watch, and before the before the main body of the movie, we see stuff like PG thirteen or PG eighteen plus. That's that means there's supposed to be parental guidance or this film, whoever is watching it and that is below that age should be guided properly so that they will not misinterpret the message there. But parents are so reluctant, at like they don't care about it. Okay, my child, they let them just see the movie. After all, it's a movie. They don't know that when teenagers see this um, content, they tend to practice whatever teenagers, like teenagers are learners, whatever they see. They want to practice it outside. They want to practice it. So when they see stuff like that, it, it's not helping matters. And then another, um, another, um, another factor we could um, look into is the um, factor of um, family history of unwanted pregnancies. When teenagers, upcoming teenagers now, when they see. Okay, when they grow up and they see that, okay, their elder sisters or their elder brothers or their aunts have done this, they really, okay, they, all of them all have children out of wedlock. They tend to want to do it because they feel, okay, it's a norm, it's something that, okay, let me say it's a family practice, it's a culture. So they want to practice it. And when it happens like that, like, we don't have, they don't have choices than to do it. Then we have another, another cause of um, teenage pregnancy is rape. Rape, we all know the cause of rape, we all know how, like we know, we all know what rape is. So when things like this happen, like when a teenager is raped, there's a tendency that she, there's a tendency that she will become, she might become pregnant or contact STDs.